I've only played up to, um, um, where you see all the girls, and my friend has played up, played up to the part where it gets creepy, so, hopefully she's not yonderry after all. Ah, oh, crud, it's the light bell. Time to get an earful from Mrs. Robertson, I guess. Sorry, my microphone's a little close. But first, let's talk to some people. Hello, girl. Palm is only a few days away, and I still haven't found a good dress to go in. Do boys ever have this problem when they try to pick out suits? Sometimes I wonder. Hmm. Good question. Uh, any males in my audience want to answer that question? I seriously would like to know. Because usually if I don't pick out what to wear the night before, I I'm not, I'm not going to be going to that party or that event because... I'm going to be five hours late. Just saying. Okay. Let's talk to you. Don't walk away. From Girl, don't walk away from me. Another day close to the finals. Oh, man. Why do I always get so anxious this time of year? You'd think I'd never taken an exam before. It's ridiculous. I think everyone gets that way. Wow, gra graduation's coming up fast, isn't it? Seems like I was just starting my freshman year yesterday. You ever feel the same way, Kyle? Yeah, it feels like I was just in fourth grade yesterday. Not really. It feels like I was... Eh. Have they edit that part out? Okay, let's see. Social studies. Mathematicus. Okay. Well, look who finally decided to show up. Any later, and you would have missed the exam review. I seriously don't know what voices to get some of these teachers. Yeah, I was assuming I forgot if it was a female or not, so yeah. S sorry, Miss Robertson. I got held up in the hallway. I figured. Now have a seat, and we'll get started. Anyways, back to the reveal. <sighs> oh, I don't really like math. Math class goes on as usual today, so does French and computer science. When biology rolls around, I sneak a glance or two at Neela. to doubt she was doing the same with me. Wink, wink. I wonder if her bumping into me set off kind of some kind of spark between us. Yes, yes, Kyle. Fireworks were everywhere. You should have seen it. I, I was right here watching. It, it was beautiful. Go with her. No questions asked. Go with her. <coughs> uh, I just realized how corny that sounded. This whole game sounds corny so far. You just noticed. Still, it's a start, I guess. Maybe Randy's assignment isn't as dumb as I thought it'd be. It's still pretty dumb. But, you know. Day one. Yay. 12 p.m. Sorry about that, someone was knocking at my door, and it was my mom asking if I was alright. <coughs> uh, 
me of yeah I think I'm done eating for now yeah I don't like meat loaf either buddy I've got some time left before my next class I should bum around a bit until then I guess who says that Maybe I can try talking to some of the other girls around here. I can't give Randy a reason to think I'm not looking hard enough, after all. Okay. Just gonna save. You know what? I wonder. If I saved over, hold on, I'm pretty sure my roommate doesn't want to, she said it's okay, um, she's just going to watch my Let's Play on it, so, if I saved over that, would that make the title screen go back to normal? We'll look at that later. Okay. Ooh, sorry. Hello, bro. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Uh, I think I'll let him finish. Jeez, man, no wonder you have no one sitting next to you. Wanna be my day to prom? I used to get my lunches here at school, but then I started going gluten-free. Oh my goodness, one of... Sorry. And dairy-free. And vegetarian. So now, I can't eat anything from the cafeteria. It's so inconvenient. Oh, hi. <sighs> I mean, I get it. Like, if you're vegan or whatever, vegetarian, good on you. You're healthy. Good for you. But the people... <sighs> I don't know. I used to have this kid in school. Middle school, I think. Or was it high school? And that, like, oh, I'm going vegetarian now. Uh, they come to school, they'd be eating, like, chicken in their salad. It, yeah, I didn't really have a lot of friends in middle school. Because all the kids were assholes. Especially at, like, a Catholic school. And there wasn't many of us. There was, like, 16. And they were the biggest assholes you'd ever know. Remember those cookies that we got from the big sale a few weeks ago? Oh, you mean the almond cookies Neela made? Those were the best. Yeah, those. I hope she makes them again before summer starts. Or at least gives her her recipe or something. Okay. I don't believe there's anyone else interesting here. What are you two doing? I don't believe I know this. Uh, if this is an actual song, then please tell me. But I do not know. Miss Susie had a streamboat. The streamboat had a bell. The steam... steam stream... Ugh! The steamboat went to heaven. Miss Susie went to... Hello, operator. Please... Give me number nine. If you disconnect me, I'll kick you from behind the refrigerator. There was a piece of glass. That's a bit eerie in a way, since. Okay. Uh, bruh, you're alone. Now, this is kind of true, the Catholic schools I've been to usually have more than one building. It's very open. This guy looks high. 
What are you doing? Are you, you're either sleeping or you're high. Oh, hey, dude. Kyle, listen. I just had the greatest idea. What if we got a ball of weed the size of the sun and threw it into the sun? Yeah. This guy's high. What? Don't look at me like that. I'm totally not. What did I say? What did I say? I'm totally not high right now. Well, maybe a little. <laughs> yeah, sure you're not, dude. Okay, this is something, I guess, let's middle school, in my, at least the middle schools I've been to, this guy would have been kicked out of school. The teachers would notice. They get into your business, like anything. They just into your business. Bam, they're into your business. They don't care. They get into your business. If the kid was acting like that, they'd immediately just... I mean, the teachers would have to play more important role. Here's one thing. I guess I could consider... Yeah, high school would be more likely, and this is a high school. Yeah. But there would be at least... Well, I didn't check everything in here. I don't think. There'd be a... I think there'd be, like, a... I don't remember if we had a teacher in our uh, lunchroom. But, yeah. Lunchrooms are more of an open area, so... Sorry, I almost burped now. Um, there'd be, like, at least a lunch lady right there. By the way, the actually the Catholic high school that I went to had amazing lunch. Amazing. We had everything there. I don't feel like going into this building right now. Well, nah. Whoa, heads up! I don't like this girl here. <laughs> and you landed on the concrete. Boy, how did you not get a concussion? I know I did. A few weeks ago, actually. Ugh. <laughs> That's twice. Twice in one day, something slammed into me. Ooh, that had to hurt. <laughs> you okay there, dude? Ooh, nice music, though. <laughs> sorry, I, sorry, I'm just... I like this theme. I don't like the character. I'm not into the whole tsundere tomboy type, but if you are, whatever. Seriously, I thought I told you to watch your head. Seriously? Ugh. Maybe you should watch your aim. What did you say? I have you know my aim is perfect. Maybe I meant to throw the ball at your dumb face. You never know, asshole. Hey! Yeah, I don't like her. <sighs> Whatever. Let's change the subject already. So what brings you around these parts, Mason? Didn't like the meatlo meatloaf today? This is a school. I can walk anywhere around school as long as I don't leave the campus. I can go to whatever parts I want, Missy. Yeah, you could say that. Though, to be honest, I never really liked meatloaf to begin with. Fair enough. I think all the cafeteria food sucks. I usually just got burger or something off campus instead. After all, with all the practicing I do, I need the ca all the calories that I can get. 
I don't... Practicing? For what? Oh, I remember you're Maggie, right? The one and only! Good to know that ball to the face didn't give you any brain damage. <laughs> That's nothing to joke at! Right. Still though, I thought basketball season was over. How come you still need to practice? Because college, duh. I'll be playing for the state, so I gotta keep my game strong. I try to sneak in practice every day, even if it means cutting classes. I don't like those people. I'm sorry, compared to anyone else, it, mostly in my family, I am a goody two-shoes. I get angry at those kids who don't turn in their homework. And I never knew what the deal was with those people who were so into sports. I mean, they they usually make fun of the kids who like anime or like comment comics or video games. I mean, you're passionate about sports. That's not considered weird. How come video games and stuff like that is considered weird? <sighs> uh, just ignore me talking about renting stuff. I just don't like those people. I really don't. Really? So, when do you have time to study? That's the thing. I don't. Why? No. That's bad. You're setting a bad influence. Kids, don't listen to her. Even if you do want to be in the NBA or whatever, study. Study still. You need your grades. Trust me, it might seem very hard, but school is a good thing. It, it's a pain in the butt. It, it's the pain and it's an absolute pain in the ass. But school, school is still there for a reason. Studying is for chumps. <laughs> no, no. Besides, I'm on scholarship. I'm already guaranteed a free ride to state. So why bother? <sighs> I don't like these people. I don't like her. I don't like her. The only thing I need to study is my slam dunk technique! I don't know why I did that. I still don't like her. Especially basketball. Why is bas- Basketball is so overrated to me. I'm sorry. Just- It's not that complex of a sport. It's always basketball. Always. Hey, speaking of, I could use a second player for some practice. You interested, Kyle? Hell no. Me, uh, well- but I don't even play. Who cares? A partner is a partner. Besides, it'll be fun to dribble circles around you. Not to mention, you can learn a thing or two about shooting hoops. I don't care. Thank you. You didn't have to put it that harshly. But, hey, why not? Bit more exercise anyways. <laughs> I knew you'd come around sooner or later. My schedule's pretty busy today, so this time tomorrow, maybe after eating, I mean. No! You already- No, you already agreed with Mila! You idiot! No! Uh, yeah, sure. Th th that sounds fine. That's settled. See you tomorrow, Mason! Try not to get hit by any more stray balls, will you? <laughs> Excuse me. I am, uh, <laughs> excuse me, you, I'm not even going to finish my sentence. Excuse me, madam, no. Everyone, excuse me, I have, I had the mind, well, at least my joke capacity is of a ten-year-old, so, <laughs> I'm sorry.
Oh god. That was Maggie Pham, aka Ass Kicking Queen of the St. Gil- Gil's Hins. I'm just gonna say Gil's is the name. St. Gil's. I have no idea if that's a real saint. I will look that up. And if anyone can tell me, please, once again, feel free to comment. She's definitely interesting, that's for sure. Pretty rough around the edges compared to the other girls. I'm not into that. I like those. I, I like Nila. Nila. Still, she's our MPV this year, and she's got a sports scholarship to state, so there's no denying that she's talented. She's not very smart, though. She's feisty. I kind of like that about her. I don't. Kyle, why? You don't got good taste, man. Sure, she's a little intimidating, but I wonder if she if she'd be interested in going to prom together. Well, I guess this means two names that I can give to Randy. This is actually going a lot easier than I thought. And again, I'm gonna have to make a choice eventually. That might not be quite easy. Bro, for me, it's it's really easy. I guess I could go on to social studies if I wanted to. Yeah, I know it's right next to math. But I'm gonna... Yeah, I've still got some time left. Maybe I can... Who says that anymore? P piddle, puddle, I piddle around a little while any longer. I think this game was made in 2013. I guess people said that back then. I wouldn't know because I don't have that great of a memory. Here we go. I'm going to save this here. And next time, we are going to look and see who is the final girl we are going to meet. And how is Kyle Mason going to deal with this? Yeah. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bruh.